What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope you like this video. This is Legendary Season 3, Episode 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, 4. Listen, let me say this. First of all, before I get into the review, HBO, I don't understand. I have no idea why y'all are dropping three episodes at a time. But y'all are doing this show a disservice because, baby, these two episodes... I haven't even looked at all three, but the two episodes I looked at, y'all would have done us, done yourselves a great service to make us wait. Because, baby, y'all are giving us a lot in each episode. But let's go then. We got three. I don't watch two. I didn't even watch the third one yet, but when we get what we can get to. So this is the horror ball. Everybody has to choose a horror show, uh, like a horror movie or a horror theme. Um, it has to tell a very clear story. And the highlight element of the week is hands, honey, hands, hands, honey, hands. Um, then there will be a challenge category at the end where each house can earn an additional five points. The guest host this um, episode is Issa Rae. Y'all know I love me some Issa Rae. She says she is a super fan of the show and she is happy to be there. So the first group to go is the house of Revlon. They are giving us New Orleans French, French Quarter Coven vibe uh, what what show was that y'all well it was in the french court i don't know don't get me lying anyway Gigi is giving us hands we found out that Gigi is an immigrant um from africa whose family migrated to france um and she you know doesn't take lightly that you know um where she is and 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 that she's making history being on the show I have in my notes that this was a, absolutely a clear story they gave us a clear story the hands listen Last season, my comrades, uh, Abby Reviews, and It's Me, D, I mean, not It's Me, D, Lord. Yeah, It's Me, D. Um, I, I was get I, listen, when it was an element, I guess I was seeing what they wasn't seeing, or they wasn't seeing what I was seeing, but this time, I wasn't seeing it. Now, last year, it was the, the, the dips and, and twirls, and I thought I saw twirls, and Abby ain't see twirls, but I'm gonna be honest, this time... I'm not seeing the hands like I like I feel like I should. I like House of Revlon. I, I feel like their performance was it was nice. It gave me, like I said, it gave me a clear story. Um, and they're actually one of my favorite houses. But uh, honestly, it wasn't really giving me what I what I needed with the hands. But the judges didn't agree with me. Kiki gave a nine. Laomi gave a nine. Law gave an eight. Jamila gave an eight. Issa gave a nine. Their score was a forty four. But I probably would have gave it. Maybe I would have gave a nine shit. I don't know. You know what? I'm telling a lie because I wrote nine. I gave him a nine. I did. I gave him a nine. But I just felt like I could I needed more with the hands. The next group that came was um Yogi Yamamoto. They were giving me Carrie, but like 70s. So they had the Afro. They had the prom queen, but then everything else was very 70s, very Afro. Um, Luce is giving us hands. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I enjoyed the performance, and I thought Luce definitely gave us hands. She came out as Carrie. She had the red dress. She had the blood. And it was hands, 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 hands. Now, um, but the judges weren't that, they weren't as impressed as I was. Leomi gave us seven. She said that the hands weren't, it wasn't spectacular. Like, yes, it was hands, but you wasn't giving me nothing with the hands. You were just doing it just to be doing it, I guess. Kiki gave, and everybody else gave an 8. So their score was a 38. Um, then we had the House of Ada. They did Queen of the Damned. Um, really is doing their hands. And we found out that really is an immigrant from Vietnam. His family be, his family immigrated here when he was 4. And he said by at night, he's a, he's a go-go dancer by night. Um, and their... Um, their presentation, I wrote, it was a slow story. I wrote more hands. And a not a lot, um, not a lot of group action. Really kept our attention the whole time, right? They had, he had these big kabaza of jugs up here. And he kept our attention. But I, again, the hands, they weren't giving me what I needed with the hands. They weren't, it just wasn't giving me. It wasn't, it wasn't giving. And I felt like because of the costuming, so much attention was on, really, which I guess it should have been, but everybody else just everybody else just blended in the background, and I honestly don't remember a whole lot of what I saw with the rest of them, right? Law gave an 8, Kiki a 7, Laomi a 6, Jamila a 8, Issa a 8, so they have a score of 37. 
Alpha Omega, they did Saw. Father um, Ronald, Ronald, Ronaldo was doing hands. I, I wrote in my notes that I did not like the costumes and I've never seen Saw. So I can't say whether it was really giving me Saw or not giving me Saw. But what I do know is that I didn't like the costumes and I felt like there was not a clear story. Like Father Ronaldo was giving hands. I give that. He was giving hands. He was riding around this little tricycle. I'm assuming that's the main character from Saw. But there wasn't a story to it. Like you were just giving me characters from the movie and dancing around. You didn't tell a story. Um, and the judges agreed. Um, Jamila gave a six. Kiki gave a six. Law gave a nine. I feel like Law just like what they look like. Like, phys like physically, not performance. Laomi gave a six. Issa gave a seven. But Law used his gag flag. So even though they only have 35 points, they are not going anywhere. And they have been saved. Again, I feel like we are using these gag flags too soon. And I'm going to get back to the gag flags later on. Um, I'm going to get back to the gag flags later on. Juicy Couture, bitch, look. Juicy Couture gave... They did what needed to be done. They gave what it needed to be given. Their performance was so good, baby. I had to watch it two more times. Two more times. They gave Nightmare on Elm Street. Laomi, um, is actually, that was Laomi's co costume, actually, was Nightmare on Elm Street. And I was here for it. She looked really nice. Um, the intro, they had me from the intro. They had me from the intro. They told a clear story. The visuals were everything. The hands were sickening. The costuming was ridiculous. There was a point where they were pulling at the sweater and the sweater, the arms kept getting longer and longer and longer. And then they wrapped it up and turned it almost into a whole nother costume. Bitch, this performance was everything. I don't give a damn what nobody said. I didn't care what the judges was going to say, even though the judges agreed with me because baby, all of them gave them tens, tens, tens across the board. Our first perfect score of the season. And I think it was well-deserved. Juicy did that. They, oh, they did that. I'm sorry. I was here for all of it. The House of Machiavelli, they did Hellraiser. Um, the mother of the house was giving us hands. Listen, this this what I'm going to say about this. I've seen Hellraiser. Hellraiser, I ain't going to say it was one of my favorite horror movies, but I remember I ain't seen all of them. I've seen the first maybe two. But if you're going to give Hellraiser, I need to see Hellraiser. The costuming did not give me Hellraiser. Now, maybe it's some later iterations that I'm missing. But the costuming, first of all, I should be able to look at your performance and know who you're doing. That's number one. Um, Again, I feel like their movements, I, this is what I wrote. Lazy, lazy, slow, and uninspired. Laomi said, and I don't think she said that's to describe them, but I'm going to use it. They're giving rehearsal energy, not performance energy. It just wasn't, it wasn't there for me. It wasn't there for me. Um, the judges, Issa gave a six, Kiki, I mean, Issa gave a seven, Kiki gave a six, Jamila gave a five, Law gave a four, Laomi gave a five. They had to score 27, but what was, what really did it, whoo, what really did it, y'all, was, um, Law was singing Amazing Grace. And said, I just sang at your funeral. Y'all are done. Baby. The way my mouth fell open when he said that. One of their um group members walked off the 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 walked off the stage. Like was like, I'm not even gonna engage. The other one um said something to the effect of, I can't stand him, or I can't stand that bitch, or something. And so, of course, they were like, what'd he say? What'd he say, Law? And um, so, Mother was like, uh-uh, I don't think you, I don't think you want to hear that. Law was like, I'm from Chicago. What? What'd he say? Say it again. Repeat yourself. If you said it once, you could say it twice. So, he did repeat it. I mean, he didn't repeat it, but the other um member took the mic and proceeded to basically talk about how he did their best and, you know, they up here working hard and they doing their best. And Law was like, well, if that was your best, then bye. Like, it, it's not good enough. If that was your best, great. That's fine. But that's not good enough. 
Baby, on her way off the stage, she said, um, I see you outside. Lost said what? You see me where? Baby, it got feisty. Last but not least, we have the house of Labasia. They were the ring. Zenith did hands. My only notes I wrote was sloppy. I, I, maybe my expectations for the house of Labasia was too high. Maybe I'm just going off the legend that they are. Maybe because I know, I know who Aja is and I have seen Aja. Maybe because I know Jelani and I have seen Jelani perform. Maybe I just was expecting too much from the house of Labasia. But there, none of their performances have impressed me. None of their performances have made me be like, yes, House of Labasia. I don't know. The judges, eh. Kiki gave an eight. Law gave an eight. Laomi gave a seven. Issa gave an eight. Jamila gave an eight. They had a score of 39. But we do have a challenge. So, um, so the challenge, this, um, the runway challenge this episode was Butch Queen up in drag. So, basically, it is a, you know, a male, um, someone who normally is male-identified, dressed in drag, and they got to work that runway. So, they, um, so, as a result of Revlon winning from the week before, they eliminated Golden from being able to walk, um, from the house of Yam y Yogi Yama Yamaguchi, Yamagachi, Yamamoto. Um... So here's who walked. So Father Keon walked for Revlon. Linda walked for Yamamoto. Poppy walked for Ada. Treyon walked for Alpha Omega. DYU walked for Juicy. Smokey um, walked for um, Machiavelli. And Soho walked for LaBeja. So of course you had to get perfect tens. I mean, if, I mean you couldn't get a chop. Or oh, that was it. You were, you were chopped. Um, and basically everybody was chopped except for Keon and LaBeja. So it came down to Keon, um, um, LaBeja versus the House of Revlon. And it, the, um, the, uh, category went to the House of Revlon. But Juicy, but they still didn't put them above Juicy. Juicy Couture walks away at Superior House. The battle for bottom is between Ada and Machiavelli because, again, Alpha Omega is, is they were saved. So it comes down to Poppy, um, um, for House, I mean, for Ada, and Jada for Machiavelli. Now, here's what I thought was real funny. Before they even got started, um, Law got, Law was like, now what you say now? See me outside? He was like, you can see me now. Like, we ain't gotta wait till outside. Let's go now. Let's go now. And Law actually got up and walked over there like he was really about to fight them. And I really feel like, I feel like that's one of those moments that after the season is over, we're going to get all of what happened and the backstage and how deep it went. Because I definitely felt like this was edited down. And I definitely feel like this probably went on longer than we def what we saw. But neither here nor there, Law, once they calmed everybody down, Law sat back down. And what I can appreciate is that Law did not allow his personal feelings or whatever that was to interfere with his decision. Because ultimately, um... Jada ended up winning, Machiavelli is saved, and Ada goes home. And I think that was the right decision. I do. But I, you know, but it would have been real easy for the judges, all of them, not just law, to be like, nah, y'all was disrespectful. Y'all spoke out of turn. Y'all said some disrespectful stuff like you threatened the judge. But if we're going to talk about real ballroom, hell, it goes down in real ballroom. It shit goes down. You know, in real ballroom, it's, well, I ain't gonna say it's always, but it ain't unusual for it to be a scuffle to fight. It ain't unusual for people to be mad at the judges and talk back to the judges and cuss the judges out. Like, it's not unusual. And I think that might be another reason why Law, he, he rides with it in the moment, but he's able to still be professional en enough about it, I guess. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.